you take her to CC's. Those are chest pains, not labor pains. Mr. Brancusi, notify Dr. Gates that. And Dr. Esther Harris, he's your OB. Call him, too. All right, who's next here? I am, Doc. Uh-huh, what's your problem? I passed out. You did, huh? Okay, well, let's take a look here. That's my watch. What do you How did you do that? Pick a card, any card. No, no cards. We make medicine here, not magic. They say you, uh, you fainted, you passed out? I fainted in the middle of Union Square. It was very embarrassing. Put those away. Right, uh, you've got a cut, you hit your head. Uh, let's have a look, take off your hat. Where'd that come from? No, no, put it away, put it away. Uh, sadly, uh, um, what? Why is Gloria still on duty? I don't know. And where is Ellen Claypool? She should have been in half an hour ago. Shoop, you schedule the nurses. I don't. Well, I've had enough of this. Oh, so have I. Now, cut out the funny stuff. Stick out your tongue. I don't believe this. Why me? I know you're late. I'm still here, aren't I? Me? Well, uh, uh, couldn't you get... Well, for how long? All right. Yeah, I know. I'm terrific. Lucky for you. What is it this time? Oh, um, I'm sorry, Ernie. Uh, Ellen, uh, I guess you got tied up again. You can't keep covering for her, Gloria. Well, it's all right. I don't mind. Well, I mind. There's a lot of work that goes into making these schedules. Now, if you and Ellen decide you want to make your own arrangements, fine. Just clock in at Bay General. Ernie, please. I was just doing her a favor. Do yourself a favor. Learn to say no. Breathe, please. Deep breaths. What for? I ain't sick. You better not be sick. I don't take kindly to hand out sick leaves, Elmo. I didn't ask for one, Coach. Sick leaves are for Fruit Loops and Malingers. Not defensive tackles, son. I know, Coach. I... Are you calling me a Fruit Loop? Maybe. Or maybe you're a Malanger. Are you a Malanger? I ain't none of them things. I'm fine. Let me go back to practice. I'll show you. More deep breaths, please. Who says? He says. And he's a doctor. You got that? What's his problem, Doc? Time out, Coach. He just got here. I got no time. Season opens in two weeks. You picked a fine time to puke out on me, Elmo. Sucked the wind right out of my pass rush. Can't afford it, Elmo. No, sir. Rapid pulse? Excessive sweating? Sweat? <laughs> he don't sweat. Been coming off the line like a sad sack of beef all week long. Right, Elmo? Huh? Huh. See what I mean, Doc? These fainting spells and, and weakness, how long has this been going on? Too long. Can you cure him, Doc? That's all I want to know. Well, we'll first have to admit him and then run some more tests. Give me that. You do what the doc says. I ain't sick. You do what the doc says, Elmo, or I will personally grind you up into 300 pounds of chopped liver. Do it quick, doc. I can't afford to redshirt this guy. No, sir. Unless... I'll let you know. Don't worry about anything. I'll be there. <gasps> oh, Gloria, my God, you scared the willies out of me. So, where are we going? Oh, we are going to work. Aha. Not taking any chances, huh? Mm -mm. I'm very sorry. I know you are. I couldn't help it, Gloria. Believe me. I believe you, Ellen, but this has got to stop. Look, uh, loaning of money, sharing rides, that's all fine and dandy, but um, I'm not about to lose my job. I got you in trouble. I did, didn't I? Uh, Ernie read me the writing on the wall. Mm -hmm. That goes for you, too. Uh, look, Ellen, I have been covering for you right and left for the last couple of months, and I think I deserve at least some kind of explanation. Yes, I suppose you do. And you can forget about any more backup until I get some answers. Fair enough. I'll pick you up at 7.30 tonight. Why? Just go with the flow, Glow. 7.30 sharp. Beautiful. There you go. Look 
Se parece a mí, ¿verdad? Karen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Well, now you know. I'm a bona fide certified nurse midwife and I love it. I can understand why. Home birthing. Hmm. Well, it's hard to say how I feel about it. I've never been pregnant. <laughs> Is that a fact? I had a false pregnancy once. False or hysterical? If it wasn't false, it would have been hysterical. Oh, come on, guys. There's nothing natural about coming to a hospital to have a baby. It's cold, detached. We take a beautiful moment and, and turn it into a, a clinical routine. Yeah, well, you're right. It is pretty sterile. Sterile? Who? What? We're talking about home birthing, Doctor. Ah, EJ and I were seriously considering having our baby at home. Uh, nonsense. Hospital offers a lot more guarantees to both mother and child. True, true. No, you're damn right it's true. I mean, uh, sure, a homey atmosphere would be nice, but what do you want to do? Use a rose-covered cottage with all the lacy trimmings for a delivery room? Well, a few lace curtains, a brass bed, some throw pillows, you know. Look, with home birthing, there's more chance for fetal distress and complications for the mother. I was at a home birthing last night. It was wonderful. Really exhilarating experience. Ellen Claypool was the midwife. And she was terrific. So that's what she's been doing. I was wondering if she's been moonlighting or something. Dr. Gates? Oh, Dr. Gates. Ellen, we were just talking about you. Oh, is that so? Uh, Dr. Esterhouse is, is asking for you. The Nelson woman they just brought into CCU. She's going into labor and he'd like you to stand by just in case there's any trouble. All right, I'm on my way. Okay. He's in OB3. Gloria? Gloria. Gloria, I need a favor. I don't want to hear it. I finally got an afternoon off. I don't know what to do. Dr. Esterhaus wants me in OB stat. I don't have anyone else to ask. Oh, please, Gloria. I am desperate. I can't let these people down. Oh, all right. Here we go again. All right, Elmo, listen up. The stats are in, and the bottom line is you have got hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. Now, it's not something to take lightly. That means your blood sugar is offside with the rest of your body's game plan, and the penalty is against you, Elmo, you and nobody else. Hmm? You gotta stop abusing your body. There have got to be some changes here, Elmo. Listen, you play ball with me, and you will be a winner again, I guarantee it. You telling me I'm a loser? No, 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 no. But you gotta face facts, Elmo. Do you wanna lead the pass rush, or do you wanna keep passing out? Hmm? Do you want to keep zapping your strength because your blood sugar keeps dropping out on you, huh? And what about your mental attitude, Elmo? What about it? Hypoglycemia has been shown to have a direct bearing on a person's mood swings. You gotta get on the ball, guy. You are in trouble deep in your own territory. I am talking about a high-protein, low-carbohydrate diet, all right? I am talking about exercise and plenty of it. And no more junk food. You can stop by knocking off the donuts. You knock it off, Doc. Get some rest. Relax. I will be back. Later. One. Okay now? Uh-huh. They're coming on every two minutes now. Marty. I'm right here, babe. Where's Ellen? She's supposed Shh, to be here. I know, I know. But the storm's probably holding her up. She'll be here. Just hang loose. What are we gonna do if she doesn't get here? What are we gonna do? Ellen. <laughs> Hold on. Ellen, we were worried you. Hi. Who are you? Uh, my name's Gloria Brancusi. I'm from the hospital. Ellen sent me. She got stuck. Stuck? Doing what? She's in surgery, but she'll be here. D don't worry about it. Um, uh, Marty, is it? Uh, do you mind if I... Oh, yeah. So 
Gail, you're in. Hi, Gail. Who are... Oh. <sighs> okay, breathe fast. Pant. Pant. That's right. That's right. How far apart are they? Two minutes. Easy. Easy. That's right. Just take it easy now. <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm Gloria. Hi, Gloria. I don't believe this. Ellen was supposed to be here. We planned this for months. It's happening right now. She ought to be here. She gave Look, us her word. Marty, I'm not a midwife, but I am a registered nurse. I know what to do. And what you need to do now is calm down, all right? Good. Now, you can help me move your wife to the bed. It's going to be more comfortable there, all right? Okay. We're also going to need some waterproofing for the bed. Like a plastic tarp or uh, maybe a large plastic bag. Uh, right. Okay. Hey, listen, I I'm sorry. This, this whole thing's just been a mind blower, you know? I know. Oh, Ellen, you've really done it this time. Gloria, thank goodness. Ellen, where are you? I just got out of surgery. There were complications. Look, I'm heading out now. Neither rain or sleet or snow. I'm on my way, okay? Well, who's the doctor I call? There is no doctor. I'll be there. A Ellen, wait! Wait, Ellen! doctor on call at all times. Why didn't Ellen tell you? She didn't think we'd need one. Oh. And we didn't really want one. We wanted to keep it natural, you know? Completely mm. our own, here at home. Oh. Just us and Ellen. Oh. Hey, come on. Close oh. Oh. Easy, babe. Hey. Oh. I'm gonna call a paramedic. Oh. 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 Won't do any good. We've called them three times already, and they're backed up with calls in the storm. Marty! I'm right here, babe. Oh, God. Marty, help me. You took Lamaze, right? Assume the position. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Gail, no. Don't push. Just concentrate. Breathe for Marty. <laughs> that a girl. That's right. <laughs> oh, I can't. Gail? Gail? She's okay. She's okay. What's happening? She's just exhausted. We're losing it. We haven't lost anything. Gail, um, come on now. Work with us. Come on. You're almost there. Now concentrate real hard. Well, driver, I'll do the best I can. Okay, so don't you ever knock? We're in a meeting. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Quick question, Arnold. This uh, space, the new north wing, it's been partitioned off. What's it for? Oh, new offices. Executive offices. We need more offices for. We've got plenty of offices. Well, what business is that of yours? I happen to work here. And I happen to know that there's a real need for a home birthing center, and this empty space, the new north wing, is perfect. Home birthing? Well, that's, <laughs> that's positively archaic. I mean, Gates, we're interested in moving forward with our medical facilities, not back to the Dark Ages. We're already there, Arnold. Do you have any idea how cold and impersonal our delivery ward is? Forget it, Gates. Look, just take a look at the plan. Out! Yeah, okay, sure. I'll, uh, catch you guys later. Sometimes he, he acts like a lunatic. Excuse me a minute. Hold it. Hmm? What are you doing? Just give me the facts, no song and dance. You heard enough to know. That's what worries me. Come on, Trap, there's a real need here. All I'm saying is that a pregnant woman should have a choice, a little home in the hospital. Lace curtains, flowered wallpaper, stuffed animals. What are you, a surgeon or an interior decorator? It's a great idea. You're just jealous. You're probably right. Guess the decent thing would be to just back away altogether and let you take the glory. Oh, I'll need some pull. Uh, talk to Arnold, will you? He's not a visionary. Speak for yourself. Why? What, are you afraid of him? No, but apparently you are. Go get the car. I made it. Finally. Oh, that road is like a river up there. 
spare me the details. Get your car turned around and push down the back seat. The baby, did Gail? Yes, yes, but the baby's blue and the mother's in shock. The paramedics couldn't make it and the... Is the car ready? Uh, we'll take Ellen's car. She's got a station wagon. You go get Gail, all right? Damn it, Ellen, move! You're the ambulance. I'm moving, I'm moving. Visiting hours are over. <laughs> all right, and you're not helping your buddy here with all the goodies. I mean, he is a sick boy. Hey, take a walk, Doc. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, he, you know, nobody's yeah. sick here. Okay, all right, <laughs> have it your way. But if you guys want to stick around, you guys have to get a vaccination. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? Elmo, I told you earlier, we have a malaria victim on the floor. Everyone who sticks around here, including me, including the nurses, has to get a shot. So it's up to you guys. I mean, there's no sweat off my back here. Wait, wait, guys, where are you going? Oh, I got a lot of chicken left, a lot of beer. Come on. Wait, no, no, hey, hey, come on back. Uh, Elmo, I think, uh, you and I got off to a bad start. I am not your coach, I am your doctor. I don't like doctors. I don't need doctors. The coach is wrong. There is nothing wrong with me. You dizzy spell, so what? Sitting here. The guy's out practicing and somebody's stealing my spot. First string, huh? What do you think? Well, I think that if you want to get your spot back, you're going to have to listen to me and your body. I mean, uh... This hypoglycemia can get real nasty, all right? And you've got to stop abusing your body with all that junk. I can get nasty, too. Oh, come on. Elmo, what are you going to do when you get out there on the football field, huh? And your strength is shot and your reflexes are gone. You want to test me, Doc? You like to throw your weight around, don't you, Elmo? Let me tell you something. A big bully does not make for a big man. Doctor. What is it? Newborn female, respiratory distress. Okay, get the baby to neonatal ICU stat. Betty Poole, who's in here? The mother, she's hemorrhaging. I'm gonna help you get her out. Who are you? My wife, she won't. Okay, help me get her out. Uh, don't just stand there, get a gurney and a unit of plasmate, stat. Okay. Uh, she went into labor and the baby, its head was The down. baby is cyanotic, the mother is in shock. Who's the doctor on this, Brancusi? Never mind, just, just call Dr. Esther Hostack. Can you do that? Tell him to meet me in surgery. Dr. Esther House, please. Yes, Dr. Riverside needs him in surgery, stat. Possible retained placenta. Thanks. Gloria, we've got to talk. No, you do. What happened back there? Why wasn't there a doctor on call? They didn't want a doctor. That doesn't matter. They wanted it that way. I had to respect their wishes. Their wishes? Yes. That, that woman, that, that baby almost died back there because of their wishes. They still could die. And they would have if you weren't there. Gloria, Gloria, I couldn't get out of OB. You don't plan. The, the doctor, the rain, your schedule here. It's your whole problem, Ellen. You don't plan. Yeah, well, I guess I really blew it this time. I, tr I tried to help them. I, I just couldn't help them enough. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I don't, Ellen. I blame you. <laughs> Easy now. Marty's right outside. I'm Dr. McIntyre. This is Dr. Esther House. Where am I? San Francisco Memorial. You had a rough time of it, haven't you? The baby. 
It's all right now. You're, you're coming around fine. Where's my baby? What happened to the baby? She's under observation right now. The delivery was rough on her, too. She died? I know she did. She... No, 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 no. You have a little girl. A tiny little girl with red hair. Can I see her? In a little while, okay? No, she's dead. I Is know she's true? dead. No, she's all right. <laughs> Take it easy. She's out of immediate danger. Doctor asked her how to stop the hemorrhaging. Yeah, yeah. But she's uh, heading for a postpartum depression over the baby now. She's going to need your support. Yeah, yeah. What about the baby? Well, I was just coming to that. The uh, echocardiogram shows that your baby has a serious congenital heart defect. I'm going to need you to sign this. It's for special x-rays of the heart. Cardiac catheterization. Give us a closer look. Wait a minute. That sounds heavy duty. It is. Okay. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. The whole idea was to steer clear of you guys, this place. Oh, and Burton didn't help the situation. Dr. McIntyre. Hello. The baby. How is she? Not good. I have to ask you some questions. Why wasn't a doctor present at the Collins house? They didn't want a doctor involved. That's not an answer, Ellen. You're a nurse. And if you are a certified midwife, you know the legal requirements. A doctor must be on call for every home birthing. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You see why? Yeah. I was held up in OB. The, the mother, she was doing fine. I... Mother is traumatized. Her baby is in neonatal ICU. And you could be sued for this. No, I... You better believe it. Sued, lose your license, and not only that, you'll probably drag Gloria Brancusi right down the tubes with you. wasn't any storage space, so... Uh... So you use my office? Storage? Does this look like storage? Do I look like storage? Nothing doing, Gates. How it goes, all of it. I don't care what it is. What is it? It's a surprise. For Arnold Slocum. Really? For Arnold? Why, since one of you two friends? Well, the man works hard. He deserves a lift. True. I love surprises. Nobody else knows about this, Stan. Just you and me. Let's keep it that way. Okay? Okay. When do we give it to him? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, and the man is going to flip. Boy, I could just see his face. <laughs> Gates, what is it? Let's fight. A surprise. Oh, I can't tell you yet. But as soon as I get all the missing pieces together, believe me, Stan, you will be the first to know. Well, I mean, really, Gates, if I'm going to be part hey, of Are we in this together or what? you might like to know they finished the cardiac cath on the Collins baby. That's all I know. Look, Gloria, you know what, really I know she was... Being the perfect person that I am, you go first. I am furious with you, Ellen. You know, I worked... I worked very hard to get certified. Midwifing is, is something that... Well, it's a... A philosophy or a... A point of view. It's just every... 
everything is going so fast. Life is getting so complicated. But really, life is very simple. And nowhere do I have better proof of that than when I'm in a home where there's love. And a man and a woman are bringing a baby into this world. I... I like to be part of that. Can you understand that? Yeah. I guess so. You know, after... After Glenn died, uh, I spent a lot of time looking for something, you know, something that, that mattered, something of value, like a, a warm channel. Now I'm just in hot water. You both are. Uh, this is a pretty big favor here, Guns. Yes, indeed. A heavyweight favor. And all done in the spirit of friendship. You're really quite a guy, Jack. But yes. But uh, nevertheless, one good turn deserves another. And I'll bet you just happen to have something in mind, don't you? Mm-hmm. I have something in room 412 that I can no longer deal with. One Elmo Jones. Hypoglycemia. Terrible attitude. So, what do you want me to do? Talk to him. Motivate him. Get him off the dime. He's got to change his lifestyle, Gons. I have tried to get through to him, but no luck. Your turn. I don't know, Jackpot. Hey, I move your furniture, you move mine. Ernie, any news? They did the calf. The Collins baby has a serious heart problem. Trapped around the cardiologist are with her now. How bad is it? Well, they're still working her up. Her blood gases are poor, very poor. Why didn't Gail get herself properly checked out? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. They go through this whole organic ritual, the Mars exercises. And home. Just, you did the best you could. This wasn't good enough, was it? What's next? There'll be an in-hospital review of the whole mess. The board will want to go over every step you and Ellen took, so get it clear in your head. Wouldn't the Good Samaritan law apply here? I mean, I did find myself in an unavoidable situation. Correction. You put yourself in an unavoidable situation. There's a big difference. Jones, Elmo, Elmo Jones, room 412, right? Okay, here we go. Who are you? I'm Dr. Gates. Hypoglycemia, yeah, yeah. Lab stuff checks out. Dr. Jackson, tell you all about the symptoms? Yeah, yeah. So I get a little thirsty, you know, maybe dizzy, so no big deal. That's all he told you? What are you talking about? What else is there? Well, the impotence factor. Didn't he tell you? Impotence? Well, he probably didn't want to alarm you, you know, I can't blame him. A man like Dr. Jackson is probably a little close to home. Impotence? You're kidding me. Yeah, it only happens every now and then, usually when a hypoglycemic slips off the uh, diet and exercise program. And then, of course, there's the other problem, you know, the loss of hair. Huh? He didn't mention the hair loss. I'll bet he didn't tell you about the bleeding gums, either. All right, I'm going to have a little talk with Dr. Jackson. I don't have time for this. Sir, have a good day, Elmo. I asked you to go in there and motivate the moose, not make me look like a chump. Impotence? Not only is that off base, it is unethical. Unethical? Well, worked. See for yourself. You made it. Yeah. 
You got the information? It's all here. Great. Are you uh, sure this will work? I've never made any promises. Look, if uh, you want out... Not on your life. Thanks. Hey, Gons. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Uh, Gates here? Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, we've got our hands full. What's up? Collins, baby. She's not going to make it through the night with a heart defect. Got to prep her for surgery now. <laughs> Two hours now. Two hours. Well, most of the time, that's really a good sign. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not doing much good just standing here. I'm, I'm going to go check and see how Gail is doing. Don't do us any favors. Your health's been nothing but a bum trip all the way down the line. Just, just leave her alone. Leave us all alone. Well, you did real good in there. Well, I can't say it was fun. Now, listen, I gotta get going. Dare I ask where? Over the New North Wing, I got a few loose ends to take care of. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. I've got that meeting with the Conduct Review Board. Good luck. Considering the size of the baby, trauma, the delivery, and the extent of the heart defect. The little girl's a born fighter. Where is she? She's back in neonatal ICU. But she's okay. Well, the condition's still serious, but she's, uh, she's nice and pink now. Gonna need a lot of care and uh, a little bit of luck, but I think she should do okay. I don't believe this. This is their doing. Those nurses, they knew there should be a doctor around. Well, it's my understanding that you and your wife didn't want one. That doesn't matter. Hey, they knew we didn't. It's that simple. I'm going to that uh, review board meeting. I'm going to nail them both to the wall. Oh, now, wait a minute, Marty. The nurses didn't cause your child's heart trouble or your wife's problem in delivery. They didn't help it either. Well, neither did you. I mean, if you'd have come in here a few months ago for x-rays, we would have discovered the marginal narrowing of your wife's pelvis. And we have medication for that kind of condition in labor. And she could have been spared all that suffering and agony. And your child wouldn't have been brought in here traumatized. Maybe you could find place for that in your testimony, huh? anything I just came over to tell you the operation is over and your baby is fine Gail she's just fine fine mm -hmm. after all that surgery mm -hmm. I wish I could believe it believe it it's true I'm taking the baby back to neonatal ICU before long she'll be home and she'll be waking up in the middle of the night with those midnight snacks trying to humor me you're all trying to humor me and it's not what I want I want the truth. Well, maybe the best thing is for you to go see for yourself. See the baby? Mm-hmm. It's all been arranged. They're going to take you over there as soon as it's possible. Oh. Gail, I... I feel so badly about all this. I, I'm... Well, I'm responsible for what happened. It's not your fault, Ellen. Marty and I have minds of our own, and we just didn't use them. And now the baby suffers. It's this whole home birthing trip just screwed us up. Back to nature. We didn't go back to nature. We went over the rainbow, and it's so stupid, so stupid. Oh, no, no, Gail, it's not stupid. The idea of home birthing is so beautiful. 
Well, look what it did to us. What's so beautiful about it? If we had been prepared, if I... if I had been a better midwife, we could have given you something, a medication for the labor. We could have... we could have worked with the doctor to safeguard the baby. We could have... What I'm trying to say, Gail, is that it could have been the experience that you wanted it to be. And it is a beautiful one. I know. Maybe next time you'll know. Mrs. Collins? Up and at him. There's a little baby girl bawling her eyes out, calling for her mother. <laughs> okay. Okay, take it easy. There you go. For the uh, benefit of this in-hospital review board, I would first like to uh, establish a few facts. Um, Ms. Claypool, you are a registered nurse, and you are a nurse midwife, uh, certified by the state of California, is that correct? Yes. Are you aware that a doctor must be on call at all times during a home birthing? Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Brancusi, uh, you are a registered nurse with the state of California? Yes. And uh, are you a certified nurse midwife as well? No, I'm not. Are you aware that a non-certified midwife must have a doctor present during a home birthing? Yes. Well, according to our information, there was no doctor present at the Collins house when the baby was born. Is that correct? That's right. Arnold, may I address the board officially? Um, yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, two of my nurses stand accused of bending the rules the wrong way, although they did it for the right reasons. Now let's remember that we're not talking about criminals, they're not villains. The fact is that Mrs. Collins and her baby probably would have died if Gloria and Ellen had not been present. Now we can go ahead and fuss and fume about rules, procedures, who's wrong, who's right, and never see the real problem. Some hospitals have proven to be insensitive to the needs of expectant mothers. Just go ahead, Arnold. Pay a visit to some of those delivery wards. They're cold, antiseptic, impersonal, and in Ellen's case, well, those of us who work in them day by day, day after day, we find ourselves becoming cold, antiseptic, and impersonal, just like the rooms. In our effort to provide good medicine, good medical care, we've lost the wonder and the intimacy of the most personal human experience, the birth of a child. With good intentions, we've failed to bring the home into the hospital. So the choice left for pregnant women is to bring the hospital into the home. That's what these nurses were trying to do. That's all they were trying to do. They were victimized by bad weather, good intentions, and a less than perfect system. I just wish, I, I, I hope you'll bear this in mind before you pass judgment. Thank you. One month's probation. You too? No. Ernie was eloquent. Even Marty got up and tried to help us. Ellen here took all the blame. I'm off. No probation, no smudge on my record. Well, I got one month. Should give me time to learn how to say no. Anyway, I need a rest. Midwife's hours are just terrible. 
Well, gentlemen, here we are. Oh, thank you. I think you're going to love the view from here. Well, I love Nelson's layout. Well, he's the best interior designer in the city. He designed my office. Oh, I like your office. Yes. Well, I think you'll like these even more. Just look at this. <laughs> what in the name of... It's what is this? Be it ever so humble. Surprise, Arnold. Welcome to the San Francisco Memorial Birthing Center. It's just like home, isn't it? What do you think, Arnold? Nice, huh? I picked out the crib myself. I thought I told you. <laughs> Gentlemen, I had no idea that this is, well, it, uh, it's, uh... Arnold, Arnold, I mean, it's not finished yet, but the concept is there, see? And it's gonna revolutionize the delivery ward, and we had it first. Stanley, this is the most idiotic, ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. You told me you'd like this. I want this out of here, all of it, right away. Do you hear me right now? Arnold, I think you're making a big mistake. They may think so, too. Oh, my God. Where did they come from? Lord, help us if the press gets wind of this. Isn't that your wife down there, Dan? Audrey? Gates, you engineered this, didn't you? I wasn't alone. Don't look at me, I, I, I... You know, this place is kind of cute. Could use some better furniture, of course. Yeah, I told you, Gates. Maybe one of those new birthing beds. I, uh, never thought of my wife as uh, <clears throat> much of an activist. Oh, she's a lucky woman. Smart, too, choosing a place like this to have a baby. Good work, Arnold. You've done it again. <clears throat> Good work, Arnold. Uh, Gates, I... Oh, don't thank us, Arnold. Really, it's your decision. Congratulations.